Greetings to you all and welcome to Red Alert 2 One Unit Challenge. This time we'll be limiting ourselves to only building conscripts. The rules are simple, our opponent is set to brutal difficulty, base defences can be built, but only used for defence. Ore miners can be built, obviously, but only through the purchasing of refineries. We're playing on Official Tournament Map A, because theoretically it's fair. And other than that, the only unit we can ever build are conscripts. I need to pick a faction. It, why can't I scroll? Fine, whatever. It really doesn't matter what I pick. Everyone has conscripts. Leave the enemy on random, because why not? Let's go. Now then, I don't foresee any difficulties with this. Because conscripts are very powerful. Building. You can get them out very quickly. I should probably check what side of the map I'm on. I'm on the left. Construction complete. Building. And I have a game plan. The game plan is rush. Construction complete. Now then, there is one Building. way this can fail. Training. New rally point established. New construction options. This is my entire plan. You've already witnessed it. New rally point established. Unit ready. So in case you don't know, for this map there is one key feature, and that is that there is a garrisonable building ready. in the center. The Mayan temple, I do believe. They call temples. Pyramid. Ziggurat. I don't know what this thing is. Ruin. Oh, all right. Seems the game didn't know what they're technically called either. So it's chickened out. Right, that's it. My whole base is finished. And now we attack. The plan is simple. We overwhelm them with sheer numbers. I'm up the cliff, aren't I? Yes, I am. I've built a harvester, so it will... Theoretically, earn me some income, but honestly, I think I could have completed this mission without it. Now, for the actual thing that matters, this wall. If I let them finish this wall, we're going to have some problems. It's very important that I block this wall in some capacity. All right, let's let's slow it down and actually get a force together. So conscripts, as you can probably imagine, have one main floor. They're very cheap, they're very powerful, they build very quickly, fantastic unit, but they can't destroy walls. That gives me only a few options when it comes to destroying the enemy's construction yard, because the enemy will always surround the construction yard, get in there. The enemy will always surround their construction yard with walls. They just love to do that. So you have two options, basically. One is to rush as fast as humanly possible and get there before they finish their complete wall off. The other plan is far more convoluted, and I'm sure I'll need it later. It involves getting the enemy to destroy the walls for me. But there you go. If you ever thought you couldn't beat the AI on Brutal, now you know how to do it. Just run at them as fast as humanly possible with nothing but conscripts. Unit promoted. Unit promoted. Unit. The AI will continue in vain to construct things. But I'm going to keep building conscripts because it can build pillboxes and it can get annoying. Unit promoted. Unit ready. Now we just get as many units as possible to shoot through this thin gap. They're struggling. This guy's got it. That's why he's been promoted. He's the only one with the brain power necessary to find a hole and shoot through it. You're struggling a lot here. You can do it, yes. I stop you whilst you're walking past. Okay, they need a little helping hand. They're not the brightest. 
Hickman, you know, they've got spirit. Unit promoted. You are victorious. I am victorious. Are That's it. This was always going to be the shortest episode, by far. Conscripts are very, very strong. Alright, that's going to do it. Next time we'll be moving on to a different unit. And I'm going to be progressing, generally speaking, from easiest to hardest. It's not going to be precise, but I'm going to pick another unit that I think is going to be easy for the next episode. It's going to be GIs. Hopefully you'll join me for that, and I shall see you there.